Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Mega Man X. Today we're going to be taking on Sigma Fortress number dos. This is two. whoop de doo Some people don't know Spanish, you know what I mean? Come on, I just can't, you know, just can't process the brain. This is Sigma Fortress 2. I don't remember directly there was any bosses here or not. This stage is a little easier than uh, the previous stage. I was, I'm going to be straight honest with you guys, I was a little afraid of this Bio Spider because... I thought she really could have killed me this time. Like, I, I had a lot of health on this other thing, so it wouldn't matter. But still, like, usually when I first fought her, you know, I, I didn't understand her pattern. I didn't get it down. I had to learn it on my own. Her pattern, basically, just go where she's not going to go. Like, you don't expect her to go. Just look at the vines. Look how they look how it's programmed into it. And just watch where she can go. And then go away she won't, basically, without any vines. Now, this is Chill Penguin. I get to show you guys what his weakness actually is towards him. It's just Flame Amos, uh, what's it, Fire Stream or something like that. So really, really effective against him, obviously, because he's made out of ice. I mean, that's what I like about Mega Man games is the whole weakness, the whole weakness system and stuff like that. So it's, it's just me. I, I don't, it might be. I don't know. I mean, people like it too, so that's good. Chill Penguin's just like he was before. He's easy. He's nothing really. He's not a threat. He's just Chill Penguin. <laughs> He's just good old Chill Penguin. Not, not to worry about him. What's up, Mega Bra? You know, I always imagine like a stoner. Not like a stoner, but like a one of them surfer dudes. He just seems like it. He just seems so chill and laid back. No! You got me for good! Radical, radical, radical. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted a new voice. And launch, or Boomer Quanker is like Japanese, so you can like imagine with like a Japanese voice. But I want, see, I would love to give voice to these guys. Like when I was, before I ever started doing recording, like the week before I decided to do Mega Man X, you know, I felt like in my mind, like, oh, I'll just do voices with characters and stuff like that. I can't do voices unless there's text. It just, it's something with me, that and I did this like three times now, trying to record this stuff. But, uh, yeah. I just really felt like there was no point. But don't worry. There'll be voices. Probably not as, you know, like, funny voices, but I'll try to... Like, when it comes to text, I'll try to do voices as, as legitly as I can, but if I find the the character, you know, the whatever, just easy to make fun of, then I'll just make fun of it. My voice acting is not superb. Especially on a mic like this. A $20 mic, you think I can probably program, you know, program. You think I can even make a voice even that remotely good? Alright, so, here's Storm Eagle. We get to fight him now. I don't really know any good stuff for him, but... No, he seems kind of... Italian a little bit. He seems like one of the Mafia kind of guys. To me, he does. He seems like a mobster or something. Just the way he looks. Sorry, no offense, but I'm just... Trying to point out that he might... Could be... In a gang, or like an involved gang. I have no idea. My words of wisdom are not working today. I'm probably going to get shot, aren't I? Figuratively. But yeah, that was Storm Eagle. Storm Eagle is nothing really. He's just take out, use Community Sting, that's his weakness. Blah, blah, blah. We all know Boomers. Blah, blah, blah. Welcome to Mega Man X. Okay, you know what? I'm going to charge up here completely. Now, you could use Chameleon. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, like, you could just use Chameleon Sting on this level because we're on this part of the stage. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna... Oh, I guess you can actually hold... You have to hit it at the same time. Huh. I thought in this one you can actually hold down um, the the dash button and it'll, it'll actually register that you're actually holding it. Okay, okay. That was like, what, three bosses worth... Oh, here we go. Here's one of my favorite bosses in Mega Man X, right here. This Spark Mandrel look-alike guy. This ro... Or this robot, whatever. This boss, whatever you want to say... I don't know his exact weakness. I want to say it's Spark, but I have no exact. Yeah, for once, I don't know. I think it is Spark, and I don't want to say, like, you know, I'm right or I'm wrong. This boss is rather just easy. Now, pay attention to his eyeballs. A lot of the people, obviously, but usually half the time, he'll shoot you with one. Like, it'll go red. If it goes red, that means he's going to shoot you with that eyeball. If it goes green or blue, whatever color it is, which is blue right now, They'll basically focus on you and attack you. 
Green, I guess, actually does shoot like one or so, so that's good to have. Uh, that's good to know. Hold on, I'm gonna. I guess I'll waste one whole one and then I'll use the rest of the other one. I'll grind up on the before the last. I'll do that on my own time. No, so I'm gonna bug you guys with that crap. Okay, but his nose basically just kind of avoid it's it's something I missed up. I, I screwed up my order here like I said before I don't know exactly if it is his weakness or not but I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it is I don't know if this boss is particularly weak against spark but from what I can kind of see and understand it could possibly be might be something you guys had to look up on your own you know now, I might die. I mean, I didn't have a lot of health when I entered this room either, so... It's not just my fault on this one. It is. It's totally my fault. I know, I know it is. Okay. Now, I hate this part a lot, because... It's doing it at the, at the moment I just, you know, kind of wanted to do it at. I don't want to jump on the walls just yet. I want to take out the eyeballs. Another good effect, or a good eye strategy, whatever, is when one eyeball opens up, just jump to the next side of the room and go from there. Nothing to it. Now, I hate when he does that, though. He closes it up just as soon as I get ready to attack. Gotta pin that just right. I'm trying to take this out as best as I can with what I know that I can. We're doing, we're doing okay so far. One of them has to blow up eventually. Yeah, if you destroy... If you take out... If, if, okay. If you shoot one long enough, <laughs> then one of them will blow up and, you know... But for some reason, this robot always reminds me of, like, the, not cliche, but most trash containers, like on video games or movies, where they have the closing walls and stuff, and, like on Star Wars or Ratchet and Clank, for example. Yeah, I just said it, Ratchet and Clank. Had a thing just like that. Oh, it was like on Cracking Time, I think it was. I honestly don't remember. Oh, God, dear Lord. That one's actually going to shoot me now. I like guess it's gonna actually come at me and shoot me. Now this is where it gets scary, because I'm trying to avoid this douche as much as I can. And now he's gonna keep coming out and he can't be stopped. Once you destroy both eyeballs, that one will attack you. But the good thing is, whenever you destroy the nose, or really anything for that matter, the spikes will go away, so when you land back down on the ground, you're fine, you're safe and dandy. And that is Sigma Fortress 2. A really interesting and fun boss, I think. And why is it every time I get done with a Sigma Fortress, I keep thinking to myself, like, what, I didn't get a weapon? I don't know, it, my brain is focused on the fact of Mega Man X logic here. Anyway guys, without further ado, I hope you all enjoyed. That was Sigma Fortress 2, we're gonna take on 3 next. Should be. And I will see you all then. So, like usual, I'll take care everybody, and I'll see you then. So, bye.